And I know we've been over this before, it seems like multiple times, but what is the union and Tom's argument? You know, basically, the argument is that the collective bargaining agreement and, and Roger's decision to cloak himself as the arbitrator uh, meant that he also cloaked himself uh, in, in uh, case law that means that he must follow industrial due process. At its core, it means that once the commissioner decided uh, to be the arbitrator, uh, it also means that an arbitrator can't simply go rogue. And in this case, if you remember, uh, he heard evidence based on uh, discipline that he based on X, and then after the hearing, decided to base the discipline on Y. And we believe that when, in, uh, when he chose to be the arbitrator in this case, which is different than, than choosing to being the disciplinarian, when he chose to be the neutral arbitrator, when he chose to cloak himself in neutrality, that also means that he cannot choose then to be unfair. So if I'm hearing this correctly, DeMorris, you don't have an issue with the power that Goodell has in the current CBA. You more believe it's an abuse of that power in this regard. It, it, well, in this case, it's, it was an abuse when he chose to be the arbitrator and then chose to be an unfair arbitrator. I mean, look at it this way. If, um, you know, if it's, a, uh, if it's a, uh, somebody that an employer decides to, to impose punishment, you know, an employer has a wide range of options to, to punish employees. When that employer then also says, okay, but in this case, I'm also going to choose to review that punishment, and I'm going to step into the role of a neutral arbitrator, well, then that also means that you have to be neutral. You have to be unbiased. You have to be fair. And in this case, it is clear, as Judge Berman found, uh, to quote, Roger Goodell decided that he was going to impose his own brand of industrial due process. And when you choose to be an arbitrator, you cannot do that. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.